Welcome guys to our reveal of the new JRV A4 rice papers for 2024. We're super excited. We're gonna be showing you the new papers, each design that's come out, as well as we are doing, of course, some thrift flips to show you how to decoupage and frame these amazing new papers. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about them. They've got a really great spring vibe that's uh, got some bunnies, got some pastorals, and we even have some really bright like boho and ephemera type papers too. We really tried to do a little of something for everybody and we can't wait to get started and show you what we got. All right, let's see if I can remember the names of all of these. Oh, I think I have the names on my phone, so. <laughs> we named them like two weeks ago and I haven't really looked at the names because when I'm making the papers, I don't really worry about what they're called. <laughs> so this is the ephemeral bunny and it's, they're designed, it's A4 size. They're designed to fit nicely into like an eight by 10 frame if you just want to do that or to go on decor and the rice paper decoupages really well. We're using archival inks. This is the, the peonies. Peony butterfly. Peony butterfly. Okay, gotta remember the butterfly part. Great spring colors on those. And then this is, we kept it real simple on this one, four bunnies. <laughs> Cause there's four bunnies. <laughs> I, you know, it's easy to search for, right? And then this is the maximalist butterfly. And this is super vibrant. When you decoupage this against white, it's, it's very bright. It's gonna be super bright. We're gonna use um, the new painterly paints and just lighten them just a little bit and do that on this clock behind me. So I'm super excited for that. This is Sunflower Fields. We've this, had tons of requests for sunflowers. Yeah, and I feel like we did it. We got some decent sized sunflowers in here or you could just use the whole field. And this is one of those ones that you could decoupage it really easily or frame it. This one here is the one I can't remember. English Forest. English Forest, there we go. Uh, one of my favorites, it's got the people, the kid climbing the tree, there's a kid in the river fishing out of it. You know, we've got this little boy trying to walk down here, maybe a little girl, I don't know, but it's pretty great. It's one of my favorites that we've done. And then this one, it's the pastoral ones I can't remember. Pastoral River. Pastoral River, look at that. <laughs> I have the list right here. This one, if you remember, if you've been watching us for very long, I did a very big print of this and we loved it so much, we're gonna do it in a few different sizes and release it to you guys. But this is the first of that release in the A4 size. And then... Pastoral sheep. Pastoral sheep, when we kept with the pastoral theme. It makes it easy to search. I want everybody to tell me what they think that that woman is thinking about. Like she's out with her sheep, she's a shepherdess, but what, what, she's like deep in thought. She looks like she's kind of bored to me, like, hey, when's my brother coming to relieve me so <laughs> I can go If it was me, I'd be out? like, what's for lunch? Yeah, but that's, so there's eight papers for this release. We do have some larger papers, hopefully coming out sometime this month, but these ones are available. As you're watching this video, you can go purchase them now. Yeah, you can pick them up at jamierayvintage.com or check with your local JRV retailer. Just make sure ahead of time that they have ordered them and have them in stock. So we're gonna get right to all the thrift flips. Um, a lot of these items are from Goodwill, the Goodwill bins, um, Deseret Industries. The most expensive item was $5. It was that clock. We actually thrifted that yesterday. So nothing super expensive. I'm excited because I don't know if you guys remember, but we did these craft kits, what, maybe a year ago? And I've had one left over in the garage and it's perfect for four bunnies. So the first thing I'm gonna do is decoupage my four bunnies on this backer and then I'll paint the top. And then I'm also going to be decoupaging the peony butterfly on this three-tiered tray that we purchased yesterday. And I think Zeb is going to be working on the frames. Yes, I am. I'm just oh, trying to find, I printed off two of everything. I'm like, which ones are we cutting and which ones are we showing? But it, I guess it doesn't matter. So this is pre-recorded because we have something going on Friday morning, but we're yeah. gonna just film like, just like we're live. You guys can comment. Caitlin's on here. We'll probably hop on and see comments. Can you open this real quick? Yes, I can. Um, and don't forget to share this out. We want everybody to know these papers are out. I know people have been super excited waiting for the new year, new releases, and this is our first new product release of 2024, um, except for Debbie's stencil that came out a couple of weeks ago, and she also has another stencil coming out on Monday, so super excited for that. So I'm just gonna be painting these with DIY. I believe this is white, or vintage linen, yep, and then I'm just gonna get a coat of white on here. We may dark wax, I may not. I might just do a heavy distress. 
I was going to do chippy milk paint, but for the purposes of a live type video, we the, the milk paint takes too long to dry and you don't want to heat gun it because every time we do that, it all just flakes off. We are going to stop mid filming um, because we've got to go take pictures at the last day of wrestling for the boys. So you might see <laughs> that it gets darker all of a sudden and you weren't expecting that. I need to move this up just a little bit. Um, but just want to let you know in case you're like, we hey, won't how skip come the a light? beat. Yeah, we're not going to skip a beat. We're just going to paint, go take pictures, and then it'll be dry when we get back and we'll just finish the video. It's fine. That's what entrepreneurial, entrepreneurialship and children looks like. Sometimes you got to adjust your day. Okay, let me see if I got this on here. Oh, look at that. You're already done. Oh, I went up high and I should have went down low. You're a little high. I'm not done. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do this like 800 times, but I, I'll get it. Just careful not to oversaturate your paper. It's pretty bulletproof, but you can overwork it if you just keep going crazy with your decoupage. Well, I'm trying to, I'm trying. Slide it on. To get it where the. You need the, to go down a little lower. Well, what I was going to do initially was mark it. Oh, you got it, there you go, that works. I was going to mark it like where it needed to go and I was like, no, this shouldn't be that hard. Apparently it is. Okay, so I'm gonna dig, you don't, you won't, don't really have to decoupage over this because I'm gonna glue the grid on there, but I'm gonna go ahead and decoupage this on here and then I'm going to set it aside and work on something else. I'm gonna paint the top of this, then I'll glue it on and then I'll paint the sides. So I'm going to do crockery for that frame because I thought it'd be a nice neutral to pair with my bunny. So are you painting all your frames white? I'm gonna go white. I'm gonna try to, with the exception of the sunflower one, I think the other three pastoral type prints go really well together. The sunflower one is definitely more bright and vibrant. Do you have a matte? Oh, you know what? The black one I think you should just leave as is. That one? That one, leave that one as is and put the sunflowers in that. Okay. That's That would be pretty. All right. Because it's the white mat with the black and then the sunflowers, I feel like that's a good look. Not that I'm telling you what to do. No, I like it. It's a good idea. So what have you guys been up to this week? We're about to get cold um, weather here. It's been warm and it's been unseasonably warm it's in Utah. It's been like t-shirt weather. Like I've wanted to almost wear shorts. Yeah, it's, it's been, been, so been fantastic. It and it's starting windy. to get... It's been like 53, 54 degrees, I think, today, and not even really windy, and now a storm's rolling in. It's like, go. surprise, winter's still here. It doesn't Chance matter, though, it's snow. February. February's always a really weird month here. It's like back and forth. Yeah, we get slushy rain, and it usually freezes every night. Last year was kind of weird because it was just so cold all year, and then we had so much dang snow, like 900 inches at one of our resorts Yeah, one of up the, on the mountain. I think it was Brighton that recorded that. It's crazy. It's like a, it was a record, record snow year. I'm not a fan of cold weather. I think most people that follow me know that, so I try to be positive every year. I say, you know what, maybe I'll just like the snow this year, but I don't. <laughs> It's okay. We're, we're, we're breaking out of it. You know, it's like the November of the fall. It's still cold and crisp and can snow at any time, but you get nice days sometimes. Well, we're trying to get to Debbie's. Like we got to look at our schedule. We want to do Kobe's and the Goodwill bins in San Diego, but our kids schedule, work schedule, we got to Wrestling is almost done. over. Cheer is almost over. So we might be able to break away. We might. Yeah, and then we got a budget for it. So maybe if this release is really good, we can, <laughs> we can budget a California weekend, even though it is work. I mean, it's one of those things, like Catch-22. Okay, got the panels painted. I'm not really gonna worry about the edges until after it's glued. I just didn't wanna try to like not get paint on the decoupage paper, so. It looks almost the same color as the MDF, but I promise you in real life, it is not. It's like a nice, creamy, crockery color. I think that's gonna look really good. I told you to do like a creamy yellow and you went with like a creamy brown. 
And I didn't listen to you when you told me oh, to no, do something? No, that was a suggestion. It wasn't like a, you must do this, told you. It doesn't work very well with me. <laughs> uh, I don't know that I've... I'm, have I ever, like... I'm no. trying to think of a time when I'm like, you have to do this. Zeb and I joke around and we tell each other, <laughs> we always tell each other, we're like, obey me. Like in, in 20, almost, well, it'll be 23 years in August. So we're about the halfway mark here on 23 years. Uh, We've been together 25 years in November. We've been a couple. That's a long time. I mean, I'm not going to lie. There's been some times I've made some strong suggestions in our <laughs> marriage, but I don't think I've ever uh, just been like flat out like, no, you have to do that. True. All right. I'm going to move this over here. We're, we actually probably have like two more minutes and then we got to bounce. So but we'll be right back. You we'll be even, right back. You won't, you won't even, even know up. that we left. I'm just going to wash my fingers and decoupage. Okay. Those are the three print or frames that I was going to do. What do you want to do? What color on this? So I was going to mix the, um, is that Dreamville? Oh, Dreamville. That's what it is. You were right. You Which were is right. not very often, but I am right today. Okay. I'm going to put the lid on this. So we started filming when we got back from wrestling. And you won't see that because our mics were off, so we had no sound. So I'll just give you a lowdown of what happened while the mics were off. Um, I'm working on my three-tiered tray. I have the butterfly peony paper. I used decoupaged on beautifully. Three sheets, and I, the top two are already decoupaged, and I'm going to decoupage the last one on using liquid patina in crystal clear chandelier. And Zeb, why don't you tell them what color you're painting? So I on? mixed some painterly Dreamville with the DIY vintage linen. I only had like this much in the bottom of this, and probably this much in the bottom of this. It was two paints that were almost out. And this is the color we got. I'm just painting this. It's giving me amazing coverage. I'm actually really surprised at how smooth and creamy it's going on uh, over this red because red is notoriously hard to cover over. It's kind of like black. And we decided to use that color because we're going to be decoupaging the drawers using Maximalist. And I just thought this bright color would look really good with these butterflies. So on this, I could have painted these trays, but rice paper is not quite like, um, what was I thinking? Oh, tissue paper. It's thicker, and so it's not as critical that you paint white underneath it. You can do that, but you don't have to. So like the bunnies and this one, I'm not painting white. And actually that one, the maximalist is going over those blue drawers and it'll be just fine. You still could paint it white. You're going to get the brightest image out of that, but it's not, not necessary. It's not like the tissue paper where it gets kind of moody and dark if you don't use that. Yeah, where it's almost like, is it opaque? Is it I don't see -through? know. I always say that it's not transparent, so probably the transparent is see-through. Opaque is clear, is solid. There you I always go. get it wrong. Okay, so too. here's my tray. I'll bring it up close so you guys can see it. We paid $2 for this tray. It'll probably sell for about $39.95 now that it's done. I probably would have paid up to $10 for this because this is a really cool tray. Yeah. But we got a smoking deal on it this week. I'm going to let this dry and then I'll do another coat of sealer just so that way it's nice and sealed up. And, and you used the peony butterfly Peony butterfly. On I that used one. three of them because it wasn't quite, like it was just a little too wide. But I'm going to save the scraps because if I find like a little... Um, piece of furniture or a little like decor item that has little drawers. I'm going to use the peonies on that. Okay. And then I'm going to get back to my bunnies that I started before we went to wrestling and I'm just going to glue them together. And then all I have to do on this is paint the sides and this project will be finished. All right. I just got to get these knobs painted and then I'm going, while this is drying, I'm going to frame a couple of those pastorals in the white frames. We just got to distress them. It should be pretty straightforward. We've done a lot of frames. They, we started doing it because we found that we were having to print a bunch of stuff to put in thrifted frames and they weren't selling very well without art in them. As soon as we started putting art in them, people could see how awesome the frame was. And I don't know if they're leaving the art in them, but they sell a lot better with the, the prints in there. All right, you know what I need, Zeb? I'm gonna go grab clamps from the garage. Okay. Because when we did this before for the craft kit, we used uh, wood glue or super glue. Yep. And that dries a lot quicker than this wood glue. So I'm gonna go grab that. 
So I want to, I, I flipped this around, hopefully you can see it there. I just want to show you how well this is like one coat coverage. I do have some streakies that I will have to come back through because it had a little bit of a sheen to it. Um, so I'm going to have to do just a little bit of touch up, but not, not much. I'm just one pass on this and we're getting amazing coverage. I might have a little bit of white mixed in because I just mixed it with this big brush. So you'll see us a lot of times slap paint on there and then we come back through and so my straighten our brush strokes out. My concern, Zeb, is Are you is, talking to yourself in there leave? in the garage? No. You might have to paint the lip. Well, is it gonna leave imprints? Imprints where? Like on the MDF? Oh no, you don't, you don't have to clamp it down that tight. Well, I just bought, I, these ones are not adjustable. What do you mean they're not adjustable? Oh no, they, yeah, that's fine. That'll work great. Okay, I'm gonna leave this alone for a minute, let it dry. Um, I will get a little brush out and do in here because this face doesn't come off easily without like risk of breaking it. And I'm gonna do a much smaller brush than this one. I'm gonna set that back here actually. Cause the little like doomahickeys, the rubber things are off. So I was worried that it might leave. Um, yeah, as long as you're not dragging it, it should <laughs> clamp it just fine. I would do the corners, like the four corners. You might How need to go get- whatever I do, you always have a better idea. <laughs> I don't know that it's better. Maybe do the four corners and you need some extra. No, I, I don't think know. I think fine. it'll be fine. I think it was fine the way that it was, but. I don't know, I've clamped a lot of things. It's definitely tighter with the four corners because it's squishing out this. All right, guys, so as you're watching this, what has been your favorite paper so far? We showed them all at the front. I might flash them again right here and show you again. Careful when you're mentioning flashing. You gotta do that let lip. I'm going to, but I'm gonna get these done first. Okay, I think it's because you don't wanna do the lip. I'll do the lip, it's fine. Just saying. All right, so wet distress on these. I'm gonna do, well, should I do Americana? I'm doing the bunny on this, that we, we thrifted that. Where's the ephemeral bunny? Is that what it's called? Would Americana be weird on it? Or you think it'd be all right? Or what should do white? No, I think you can do whatever you want on it. Or there. I could do crockery. More crockery? More crockery, I mean. I'm gonna do crockery. It's, it's, it can be whatever color, it's so neutral. I used Americana earlier and it's already tagged. Crockery works in fall, it works in summer, it worked in winter because we just used a ton of it. Like, why not bring it into spring? All right, spring it up. I think I'm gonna paint the whole, because you can kind of see the wood, because this is white, a lot of it. You can see the wood grain, so I'm gonna paint the whole thing, I think. So when you're wet distressing, it's important to go one direction and then to avoid it making it look like it's like really patterned, come, come the other way and you'll get really good, like authentic looking distress. Authentic as in, it looks like it's really, really old and been handled a lot or chucked across a room, either way. Either way, but you don't want it to be like leopardy distress where it doesn't, like it's actually, you know, like, like it didn't happen over time. Time worn, that's what the There word you is. go, that's the word we want. The time worn effect. Okay, so that is pretty much done. How's my glass? That glass is not the right glass for this. And it is not clean. Should I put glass in here or should I leave the glass out? Um, I like glass out. I think I'm gonna leave it in though, just because it makes it so much easier to put the paper on. Okay. I agree with you though, I do like the glass out. I'm gonna have to use a heat gun. I'm getting my projects done. I know, you're not gonna mount. I may have picked the easier projects. Well, so far no painting on any of your stuff. Um, well, I, I guess think the, you I, may have laid this down on here when it was hot. On where? <laughs> on that bag. Them out the bag? Uh huh. And a little bit of the paintbrush. It's all right. Oh well, it's it's way up high there where no one's gonna get to it. <laughs> this is like project number thirty-three today. 
<laughs> yeah, we filmed, we, it's Thursday, and you're watching this Friday, and we filmed Thursday's video, which is uploading right now. And we did a bunch of projects for that thrift flip video, and we thought that that would be done by noon, and we would start this at like one o'clock. And you can tell it ain't one o'clock. Why did it take us so long? Oh, I actually had to make 52 trips. I did cheer carpool twice. Jack forgot his math book. And then I went to Costco while Zeb was editing the first video. I also, the neighbors were moving and didn't oh, yes. tell anyone in the neighborhood and they had no help. So I went over there and helped them move. I volunteered Zeb. We were driving uh, back from the gym, I think. Yeah. And I, we noticed that they just had the U-Haul and we didn't get the notice on the neighborhood page that somebody was moving. So we knew they hadn't asked for help. So we went over there and they, they, you know, everybody, even if you can do a lot yourself, you always need help with the big things. Well, I moved, I, we moved the couch, we moved a bunch of dressers. And he has his wife, but they've got little kids. So that makes it kind of, I think I'm gonna center this. All right. Should I, should I lower it? Should I center it? I think I'm gonna go. So this was the original painting in here. Looks like, uh, I don't wanna throw the 80s hotel art under the bus, but it needs to be under the bus. Just trying to make sure this. Where's Does that bunny look centered to you, like right there? I mean, it's an ephemeral bunny, so it can, it can go how whatever. you want it, yeah. Okay. Okay. How many of you guys, when you were a kid, you, and you didn't have scissors, would just go, and then rip it. <laughs> that was where I first learned that you could use water to rip. You know how we use the water method with a brush? It's like the more hygienic way to do it. I do have scissors though, so I will not be licking this paper. I used to just, I don't know that I actually like licked it a bunch. I used to just like fold it, fold it, fold it, fold it back and forth. Oh, well, I mean, that works too. I'm gonna sand the edge a little bit. I feel like that'll give it more of an organic look, but I'll do that after it dries. This had some weird tabs holding this in. And we're gonna put the weird tabs back on. Those, that, is it like a plastic frame? Yeah, it's like a, it's like, um, what's that plastic? Sirocco? Yeah, kind of like that. Sirocco is like saying plastic, but like classy. Classy plastic. It's resin. Resin. Resin is plastic. That is a really horrible cut job. Good thing I'm just dressing that. Okay. I was missing one tab though, so I may... Oh no, that's in there tight. Okay, where did the screws go? Hopefully this doesn't glare too bad. I put the glass back in here on this one because it was going to help me keep it on there. We will see if I regret my decision in just a moment. You know, the nice thing about this, this kind of stuff that we're doing, I can easily just run grab this right out of there. Oh, it's kind of wavy. All right, all right. This is why I was talking about redoing it and here we are. I jinxed it. All right, bunny's gotta dry. What can I help you with? Um, I want me to heat gun these drawers. Yeah, you can get that dry. I can, start, I can decoupage the drawers. Paint around the lip. Yeah, I'm going to decoupage them and then I'll just brush the lip real carefully. Is this all the projects we had? Yeah. Lock we are definitely going to get this done on time. Where did the pliers go? Here we are. So if you're just tuning in, we are have released the new JRV decoupage papers for 2024. These are the A4 size. Perfect for thrift flipping all your Goodwill, Goodwill bins, Deseret Industries, wherever your thrift store is, or just upcycling some of the things that you already have in your home. Zeb and I could buy new projects to craft with, but we love to reuse old things and um, give them new life. It's good for the environment, it's good for your pocketbook. And these sheets retail for what, $3.95 a sheet? $3.95 a sheet. So, not gonna break the bank there. Well, and the nice thing is, like I, I mentioned earlier, we're using archival inks. They shouldn't fade. 
um, most environments. I was I was reading about the archival inks that come from uh, our manufacturer, and they they are saying on there that in a dark room that's like humidity controlled, because they're expecting you to like be using these in in uh, like museum type quality prints. Like that's what they're shooting for, so and. They said that their inks can last up to 300 years. How they test that, I don't know. Like, how do they know? <laughs> do they like like speed up the process somehow so they can like test Possibly. it? Possibly. I don't, I don't know exactly how they're testing that, but that's what they're claiming. That's so we're gonna go claim. with it. Okay, so this isn't gonna completely cover it, but it's gonna go pretty well towards the edge and then we'll distress the edges. And I'm picking where I want my design to go like I want to have these mostly these two butterflies on this drawer and then I'm going to do this leaf down here and some of these florals on the bottom drawer. Was oh, it not quite wide enough for that? No, not quite, but it's all right. It'll look good. All right, we're going to stick with this. Okay, I like it. Oh, there's glare. Okay, one down. Let's do the sunflowers. Did you paint the knobs? Yep, they're over here drying. Now, the trick's gonna be getting it centered. That looks good. Oh, that's upside down. Okay. Does that look? That looks good to me. That looks perfect. You did amazing. I'm gonna do the top of this, then I'm gonna put the other drawer underneath it so I can line it up. So at least if it's off, it's off in both drawers. Okay, I think I'm trying to do layout. I think I want the big sunflowers to be more evident over on this side, so I'm gonna make those show more. We're going to lose a little sunset because this is smaller than a uh, 8 by 10 on its opening oh, the on the mat. Oh, the mat's a little bit smaller? Yeah. We always like, well, ooh, I just saw those sheep. That's good. You know what we should put on that is gold wax. You didn't see that I did the sheep? <laughs> I was so busy in my own little world over here, I did not see that. They saw it, but I was over here working. Yeah. You did good. Imagine putting that on like little boxes or I think it could be like almost like branding. Zeb is using, did you tell him? You're, oh, you're using gift wrap tape. Where's our This is the regular. Tape? I use the special tape when I use the special. Oh, on the canvases? Canvas, yeah. Okay. I think it'll be fine on this rice paper. We have some uh, acid Archival. free tape that I've been using to do frames with. Like our big artwork. Okay. These should pop though. Like that, it's sit down there. Oh, we gotta clean the glass. There we go. This is big enough. I love this frame. Like you could do, you could take the mat out of it and do something really big in here. All right, oh, all of them are down. Okay, I just need to wipe. Here's like something sticky, like they put the price tag on here and I didn't quite get it. That was a good call, leaving this in the black frame. I think that looks really kind of classic. You know, not everything has to be repainted. Sometimes you need to. It's a nice it. wood frame too. Yeah. All right, my drawers are I'm gonna have to dry and then I'm gonna lightly sand the edges and then touch up my... Okay, this one's project. still... And what, I'm not gonna repaint these edges until I'm done cutting the paper because the paper's just a little big and a few spots I didn't cut perfectly. That looks good. I know, like, it's kinda, really... Kind of high end. 
you know, those people that are like, when's your stuff going to look high end? I, that looks high when's, end. When is it going to start looking high end? Well, now it's looking that way now. How about now? <laughs> Let me check my projects back here. <laughs> okay. This one's still drying. And your stuff can look high end too. That's right. I'm going to paint the back of this one and then kind of lean it up against something while the front's drying. The paint's dry, but my decoupage isn't dry yet. Okay. So obviously this is no longer cutting board. Obviously it was not a priceless piece of wood. So no big deal. Um, and then I mean, it might've been teak, but that stuff's growing like weeds. I think we paid two or $1 for it at the thrift store. So I'm not going to, not going to stress. And now somebody can hang this up on their wall or put it in an Easter vignette. And for a $2, like a $2 board, 395 paper and a dab of paint and um, liquid patina. We got a cute little project here. And this is something that you could do like with your kids or for like a school craft project or your grandkids, like not super complicated. Or if you just get bored while you're or watching you're TV. Just, want to craft with that's, us. That's me. I'm like, I always need something to do with my hands. Alright. And in case anybody was wondering, yes, there are little bits of paint all over everything in our house. It's a work hazard. The paint <laughs> is what pays for the house, so we don't complain. Okay, what projects do I think we still this need one's to gonna be really good too. Here's the situation. I'm gonna just paint the inside of this for you. Right. Well, I, I wasn't I waiting wasn't going... so that you could do it, but you're impatient and you're just gonna go. Well, I can't just stand here and watch you work. I mean, you could. Just don't, I'm gonna put that up there. All right, I'm trying not to get this Dreamville paint yeah, that's that a little mixed bright. up all over my prints. You could cut these if you wanted to, but I just like to fold them back. That is difficult. I might cut this one though, because this is the back back of it. There's nothing that's going to cover this one up. Are you going to distress and bring some of that red through or? No, I hadn't planned on it. You oh. can, if you want though, it'll look good with all the red in the floral. I think that'd be great. All right, cause it's hard to get like all the way up, you know, and if you distress it and then a little red peeks through by the edge, just it go slow. Weird. Cause you can't, you can't take that back. I know I'm going slow. I kind of wish this was cottage color because we're going to have to seal it too. I decided to trim this one because I realized this was like the backpack and I don't know if it's going to get hung or set on a table or where this is going to land. So we'll, we'll do a neater job. I'm excited. I'm going to be on the hunt for some home decor that these can go on. Cause I think these pastoral prints will look really cool. Like on a, like a tote or some tins or things like that. Sorry, I'm not very talkative. I can't talk. You gotta focus. You can't be talking. This is my focus base. You know what's gonna happen is, it's the, you know how YouTube picks a thumbnail? I guess we're gonna it's, make our own thumbnail. Yeah. But if YouTube picked a thumbnail, it would be, be me doing this. It'd be you making your grumpy face while yeah. you're focusing. My focus face. Like no takesies, backsies if you make a mistake on this. All right. That looks like that fits in there well. Let's make sure we don't have any edges that are not pretty that we don't want to see. If you are a thrift flipper, you must invest in some small brushes because trying to do this with a giant paintbrush would be a nightmare. I use the turquoise iris assistant a lot. I think we have like four of them in our repertoire in that drawer. We have abused them. This is probably not their They're not to use. being used like for fine art. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is fine art. That's fine art now, right? It's my fine art. It's looking fine. 
All right, that one also turned out really great. Let's see if I can get all the glare off. Okay, and I have one more. Okay. All right, what do you think? Did I do good? Yes, I didn't do good. You, you nailed it. Whenever you do this one. It does need like a second coat touch up unless you're gonna do like a really- No, when stress. I do the second coat though, I'm not gonna worry about, get, oh, you're gonna get Dreamville on that. I'm not gonna worry about getting so close to the edge. You know what I'm saying? All right, I'm gonna second coat this because it is a little streaky, but second coat should do it. Yeah, no, this is not Old 57. Old 57 is more blue. This yeah. is more turquoise. Yeah, it's very made. like a minty turquoise color that you like, got. Like, you might could mix um, well, it's probably helping mint that chip it's, in Old 57 yeah. and get close, but. It's probably helping that it's not white swan, that it's vintage linen, because vintage oh. linen is more of like a grayish tone. Yeah. I just feel like every time I use the painterly paints to mix in with a DIY paint, the color is really vivid, like the bunny we did the other day. That one turned out way good. Okay. I know a lot of you guys are gonna use painterly for like fine art or crafting, and you're gonna use it straight, but this just gives you another way that you can use your painterly paints for your crafting and your thrift flipping needs. And whenever you're getting down low and you don't have enough for a project, you always need ways to use stuff. You gotta use every last drop because it's like liquid gold. You can tell this paint old, this paint is old. There's a couple chunkies in it. Oh, I didn't distress this frame yet. Hold please. So as soon as I'm done with this, I'll heat gun this part and we can distress it and then maybe we can get back to working on the drawers. Cause those all I have to do is distress the edge, decoupage it one more time and then touch up the edge that you can see with a second coat. Every time we do smalls like this, somebody's like, you need to have a, a lazy Susan. I'd have, to have, I'd have to be like a mix You'd have to have five lazy Susans at once. Yeah, it would look like a DJ. <laughs> like a DJ station, you know how they mix all the records? You'd be like that would a mix be me. master. Yeah. We, I am the mix master when it comes to thrift flipping. Okay, now we're ready. You're gonna have just enough to finish this project. Well, it got all the sides in the back too. Yeah. Well, we probably should paint on the bottom. If we have enough left over, I'll paint the bottom off camera. All right, that one turned out really great as well. Let me see, hold on. Of course, this last one's gonna get the most glare. There we have it. Let me get my thumb out of the way. I don't know that I'm gonna get my four bunnies finished on this live video because I really want uh, the, I want the glue to dry really well. So what do you think? Should we leave those on for a few uh, hours? Let's test them and see. Okay. Let's give them a few more minutes. We got more projects we gotta complete, so. Okay, this one you can heat guns up. All right. Do we have a heat gun out? Yep. I'm gingerly taking that over there. And then all I need to do is touch up the inside of that face. Let me heat gun this real quick so I can sand the edges and okay. finish this. I don't suggest heat gunning liquid patina. It's not your best option. Or the papers. But we're, we're in a hurry here. What time is it? 617. We have about 15 minutes that so we gotta bounce. I think we can get this done in 15 minutes. We might oh, not yeah. get the wax on, but people will get the idea. We'll finish the projects tonight and we'll do a slow pan and put it at the end of the video. That's the magic of pre-recording a live video. Oh, 
Let us know if you like this color mix. We used to paint pianos almost this same color. Like an entire piano, like statement piece in the room, pretty close to this. This is gonna go in my uh, boho corner of the shop, unless it sells right away. All right, guys, we're gonna do a slow pan at the end. Thanks for being live with us today. Hopefully you are as excited as we are for all of these projects. If you need any of the paint or products, where can they find them? JamieRayVintage.com. And if you like this video, please hit that share button, give us a thumbs up, and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. We'll see you on the next episode.